Hello guys, Flying Dutchie here and welcome back to another episode in our Dutch Tall campaign. That is not that tall, but kind of tall. Let's uh, pause the game. We are at war with Korea and we will try to take as many things as possible. Uh, did I have some overextension? Yeah, we need to wait for the overextension to go away. And also we will go to war with uh, Spain in 1718 in February. Then we have to declare and take the colonies from him. He's not having any allies apparently, so that should not be uh, too big of a deal. Uh, we still have some revolts we need to take care of. Uh, yeah, they are doing it automatically, so we don't have to help them at all. And then everything should be fine. Oh, we're getting close to 400,000 already. Oh, we have our first uh, ability that we can take. Um, how long is a golden era? It's 50 years. Um, I think I am going to start it already. Well, I'll, I'm going to wait a bit longer. You get a bit more morale, of course. Also more goods produced. Uh, maximum revolutionary zeal goes up. That can be nice as well. And we have um, absolutism. What is our absolutism at the moment? Yeah, maybe when we have our cap, I will go and take it. Maybe I will wait a bit longer. But uh, we can take our first Age of Revolution Splendor thingy. Uh, we have uh, loyal subjects. Same continent, that's not very helpful. Artillery damage is very helpful. Not helpful. Not really helpful. Could be helpful. Artillery bonus versus fort, plus three. Now, that sounds very helpful for us. We should really focus on our cannons. <coughs> You're gonna go over there, and you go over there. Then should have the war score soonish, I would say. Maybe I can take the whole coastline over here. Did I already check what I want? Yeah, we need to wait for our diplomat to come home. Uh, we are improving with our vessels. Yes, and we are still annexing Denmark. Uh, the Pruikentijd. Uh, throughout the history of the early Netherlands, the state has been run by and for worshipped capitalists. The major of the cities, the head of the East India Company, and other state companies have all themselves had a background as merchants and would have had both contact and knowledge the world of trade that would help them make economically beneficial decisions. This is, however, increasingly often not the case. The issuing of the state bonds to finance government enterprises has served the country well through the years, but a side effect has been there is now a whole generation of rich and influential rentiers who have little to no practical experience of trade. Critics feel that these wick wearers lol, lack ambitions beyond achieving cushy government offices and that their carefulness is in fact passivity. Whether this is true or not, they've come a long way. And now we get the Pruigentijd until 1732. Get a bit more interest and well, it's those are really minor things, in my opinion. What is the... Uh, yeah, we, what we also could do is just... Do some... Rebel stamping here. That should... Uh, scare those away. Here as well. Scare them away. Less unrest. We have an army sitting there for a reason, right? Okay, we've got all of this. Shamba is ready. Shamba is... Here. You can go there then. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to... Get a couple more colonists. Where are my colonists? Don't know. Let's have a look. Where are you? Oh, this list is so big. Oh yeah, we also have one here. I'm gonna recall you. And I think my other colonist is going somewhere else. Oh yeah, it's going over here. So we are colonizing this one. And let's start colonizing... Well, I guess this one. Fill up the gap. Natives in Colima adopt the Yucath culture. Yeah, a bit more grove over there. Very nice. I'm, uh, I, I was thinking about doing a tutorial run 
for you four, and I'm uh, busy planning how I would uh, do this for you guys. And I have no idea where to start, because <laughs> the game is so big, right? I think I'm just going to start from the start and just explain what a U4 is and what the goals are in the game and then slowly but steadily explain everything on, on the screen and then maybe start playing. I guess that's how I'm going to do it. A lot of people asked for me for uh, a tutorial. And I will do the tutorial with, without any DLCs. I think that's the best thing to do. Okay. We want this thing here. I cannot select it. And we want this thing here. Now... We could make it look snaky. Because I'll just say we want the Korean lands first because that is worth more. Now we are going to get so much overextension. I'm going to release Yang Zhao. Hmm. Yes. Uh, it's also Yang Zhao, right? It would be nice if you could click on this and that you can see it. We could feed uh, Yang Zhao some land in China and I think that's a good idea. I don't know where Yang Zhao is on the map. Not over here. This is uh, not having a core at all. Yeah, the uh, Donggai one. Uh, but a lot of land here is Yang Zhao. You could just feed the land to him. And what do we all want as well then? Do we want the whole coastline? Sounds like a good idea. The capital is worth a lot of course. Maybe we should just try to get the whole coastline, but then this is not connected. Yeah, we can just release Yang Zhao. And then... Yeah, but then we need land that we can feed him. So I guess we are going to do something like this. This will be cored myself. That is 60%. Let's see how much it is when I do this. 99%. So we, we will core this ourselves. And then we are going to release this. And in the next war we do a recon quest CP. Something like that. So we need to wait for the cores to come in and then we can do the peace deal. It's almost time for a war against Spain. Uh, what is that technology? 23, 25, we should... So we should be so much stronger than they are. We are ahead in everything. No allies. Let's uh, send a couple of armies that way. I think we were making a new fleet over here. Where are all my fleets? There is a Chinese fleet in China. African fleet in Africa. Asian fleet in Asia. Then we have a European and an American fleet. Now you guys, I don't think you are needed here anymore, so I'm going to bring you home. There are no revolts at all, so let's just uh, bring these two armies uh, to Spain as well. So we have four stacks going that way. Sounds like a great idea. We also should uh, uh, conquer this, but I, I guess my, uh, my, my vessels will do the job here. So let's just tell them to siege. Uh, do we still need to do this thing here? No, let's turn that one off. All my colonial nations are kind of happy. Yeah. They are just within the limit. Got another colony ready in Ta... Ta Veta. Go there. And of course, this is all part of the Great Lakes. Colonial, colonial region. That we still need to discover. Uh, do I have an explorer? No. Oh. And we cannot build explorers anymore because we don't have the uh, quest for the new world anymore. Yikes. To the colors, what is this? That's fine. 
Just conquer a couple more things and then we are done over here. Uh, force limit is okay. We almost have a thousand armies. Let's make a thousand armies. Just because we can. And <laughs> we also have a thousand ships. <laughs> is our uh, naval tradition going up only? Yes, we will get to 100 very soon. Well, all very soon. We make 0.7 a year, so not very soon. Because we don't have any negative modifiers anymore. We have too many uh, world ports. And I, I never knew that uh, before I played this run, that your uh, world ports uh, are slowing the decay to zero. You need 25 of them, and you won't, ha you, you won't have any naval tradition decay anymore. Uh, the levy? Oh no. 15,000, that's not a lot. That's nothing. Here. Let's make them happy. We want to click this button again in four years. We can get more absolutism. I think we have to start this war pretty soon. You guys get on the boat. I will give you some leaders. Oh, some of them are not changeable. Oh well. It's a pity. We will land them over there. And the American fleet... ...is actually... Going to pick them up here. We're still waiting for the uh, the re the revolution to start. This should happen uh, at random. It can happen right now. It can take uh, ten or twenty years, I think. Okay, but you, you know what? Let's let's give them one more. No, no, they will not get their morale up. We will uh, bring these over here as well. Let's just invade from one side, so we are stronger. Maybe we can ask for military access from France, but most likely they will not accept. January, that was it, right? No, February. And we will go to war here. Yes, we will get some attrition, unfortunately. Uh, Akas Husi, yep. Let's uh, do some war over there. Truth of Portugal ended as well. We could still take a couple of things from Portugal. A couple of islands. But uh, Spain is more important. That was it, right? Yes. Oh, Poland will help. Because he is the defender of the Catholic faith. Really? Ah, oh, I need to fight Poland. No. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Why are you so annoying? Yeah, we have no allies anymore. Only vassals. Yeah, still gonna do it. How annoying. It's gonna be a long war again. I already know it. Uh, you know what, if you if this is such a problem, then just go both there. Jesus. Ah, people are entering the coalition again. Really? And France as well, and I'm fighting his fleet over here. Luckily those are... Lightships, he is adding more... Stronger ship here, I need to uh, land first. I cannot do anything else. And I think I have to run. Before everything is dying. Why are you moving for forward? Stop it. One of our ships is lost. Where? Show me where is the go to button. Hello? Oh yeah, it's the Chesapeake Bay fleet. You know what? Broken game. What a broken game this is. Why are you having so few uh, heavy ships here? What is happening? 
Why is someone fighting a ship here? No, they are not. The game is lying. So many wrong things. The Spanish flagship sunk. Did I do that? Yeah, repair. Just repair. And you need to try to fight as many ships as possible here. The Seeds of Greatness. Whatever. Uh, hunt enemy fleets here. We need to get this fort first before we can do something. Uh, take the siege guy and siege it down. Rain entered the coalition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, looks like... Oh, look, there's, there's Dennis revolutionaries here. Is it going to spawn in Denmark? Maybe I should not kill them. And here we are also fighting the Polish fleet. Well, we are winning. You should not fight when you are... When I'm at war. Now this siege bonus is... Uh, is going to be really nice. We should siege pretty quickly. Is my... Yes, my vessels are... Uh, Occupying all of, all of the land over here. And you should have no problem here at all. Taking all the land. That was Burgos. Let's uh, go to the capital and get the ticking war score. Let's split out the armies. Oh, so the, you were still in the PU of uh, Portugal? Oh. I missed that. So we are now at war with Portugal. Instead of uh, Spain. Comet of Curiosities. Sure. Okay, there are all our cores. Not everything. Couple are left. Start helping our colonists, our uh, colonial nations again. Now that was the most of the overextension. Yeah, we have 11 percent. Now we are at war, so I cannot release a nation. So we have to wait, easing out uh, Korea for a long time. Otherwise, we get too much overextension. Oh, there you are. I'm gonna send a couple more uh, troops. Luckily, uh, Poland is not the leader when they are defending their faith, so we should maybe invade him and win that one as well. But yeah, it's such a big war, and it's it's not normal that Portugal keeps this union. They are so so weak. Maybe we should repair again. Just say. Kill them. Kill those. Now the ticking war score is a thing now. We should get 25 war score in the end. Oh really? There is an army over here. Well. Hello. I also have an army over here. I have an army everywhere. Colony is ready. Yes. Um, 
Uh, just go there for now. Make sure things won't be too terrible. Maybe I should just piece out Korea here and take uh, only my land I want to core except for one. Because otherwise this is going to take way too long. So we're going to do it differently. I will take one province from Yang Zhao so I can release him when I'm at peace. So we will take this. And we will core anything else. Let's just start taking all of this. Things will become a bit easier because they are having a more compact country. This is 104% really. Okay, this is 90% so we can do this. Uh, cancel some stuff here, maybe take some money. Actually no, we have a shorter truce timer. If we do it like this. Dutch Far East, ooh. Well, we have no tech here anymore. And we will core it. Except for this one. And we cannot core it, oh yeah that's true. Too far away, but we can release a nation. Over there. Um, should I put an army there? Yeah, I'm going to put an army there. You can go there. And you can go stay over there. Yeah. Okay, we are a bit over, unfortunately. <sighs> so I miscalculated it. And I will add everything to the trade company. Trade company of Manchuria. We have to peace out, otherwise we can never peace out. We have tons of monarch points. Yeah, we are going to do some uh, development very soon. I think we're going to get everything to 30. First. I like that they are all already at medium war enthusiasm. Um, I think that with these armies over here, that I'm going to invade Poland. Polish Italy, wow. Um, yeah. You cannot move there. Now, if I cannot move there, I could move to Italy. You know what? Let's see some it Italian forts here. There. Go there. And you go. Oh, you can't. Then you go sit here. Now go to uh, Genoa and sit over there. There we go. Yeah, this should be occupied very soon. This all going the right way. More troops arrived. Occupy more stuff. We do have the uh, age bonus for our fort. So our uh, siege bonus is now 8. With 16 artillery, we have a plus 8 to the siege pips. Crazy. And the AI is not building bigger forts for some reason. That's really weird. The tender rebels. I'm coming with an army. Don't you worry. It's Yes, we will get eight. Stop Ledo. Wait. Small stack wipe, because we can. Where are the Spanish armies? Also a good question. Yeah, why you only have 14 heavy ships? What happened with you? Did so many die? Yeah, don't click on that button, Dutchie. Then you get even more pop-ups. Yeah, we have to con conquer this again. Oh, it's, it's so annoying. Now we should destroy all these. Oh, our armies are attacking Poland. Oh, Poland has 6.4 morale. I, have, I only have 5.8. And he is uh, flanking me. This will be a stack wipe. Bye, army. Bye. 
Hi. Good to meet you. Let's make a new one. Because we can. You are also scary. Need a full row. And we need better advisors. Yeah, I already have the discipline guy, so we cannot really do anything. Uh, I could get the morale boost here. Uh, yeah. Let's remove the global settler increase. That's not really needed anymore. And we will take the morale bo boost here. But it's not really going to do a lot. 5%. We're also done. Yeah, let's give these heavy ships to him. Uh, we can upgrade the heavy ships and let's go to 50. We have at least 50 of these. I don't know where Spain is, but um, Spain is not uh, trying to uh, save his land here. Nice, we are killing the pretenders so they won't be a annoyance again. They have uh, 76,000 troops in, uh, in Africa. Let's run back. Make sure that we are not going to let ourselves die over there. A AI and priorities, guys. Crazy. Oh, did we already occupy all the forts here? No. Oh. oh yeah, Luca is also in the war. Let's uh, siege down Luca. Neos. I know that we get attrition, but I'm just lazy and look at our manpower. We gain almost 10,000 manpower a month. Vijapur is here. Well, I have an army to help. Opponent is over there. Oh, we apparently now have access to Poland over here. Bridges of China. Mm, we don't really need the claims. We have imperialism, so let's just uh, boost our opinion. Maybe they will leave the coalition. I don't think so, but... Doesn't really matter. Carpet, carpet. And more carpet. Each of Milan. I wonder what we need against Poland. Beast them out. You have 92% in Lisbon. 8 prestige is nothing. Uh, go to Alicante. Sevilla. Keep converting. Okay, we got Lisboa now. Quickly siege the rest of the mainland here. Then we go to Africa. Yeah, Poland does not want to peace out. We need to conquer a lot more. Luckily, uh, we have Lubeck. <laughs> ah, we siege the Luka down. This is also Poland. Pisa is also Poland. Yeah, we knew that was gonna happen, so that's that's fine. Tenders that's gonna take our war score back. Welcome to EU4. No. Nope. Not gonna click on you. Ming will see this, 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 this to Shaka. Oh my goodness. Shakatai. The horde is taking all of the land of Ming. We need to protect ourselves against the hordes over there. <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy. Take more of Poland. The glass uh, modifier. 
you take that one. You go to Gibraltar. Luckily we have the ticking war score, that's gonna help a lot. Uh, I'll take this one down. For livestock we are trading in wine. We have a revolt in Ellsborg. Uh, so we have a revolt here and they immediately walk to somewhere somewhere else. Interesting. Now that was all of Poland over here. Can I move here? Yes, let's uh, keep going into Poland and peace him out. You know what? You go there, you stay with him, you go to this fort and you stay with that one. Hey, we changed the culture in Cotentin. Or how you pronounce it. It's no French. Still doing it here and here. French is accepted, so we can upgrade these uh, provinces very soon. We are getting our maximum monarch power. To start doing some uh, development things. Now we do have this thing enabled. Burgers will not be enabled for the rest of the game. And then we need a university and we need accepted culture. Now, we already did this one. And this all English, all having uh, accepted culture and it should all have a university. So we are going to develop this uh, state of Wessex. To 13. And this should be super cheap, yes. That's one. And there's two. I don't know if we have enough points. Yeah, we will have enough points, but uh, how far can we go? We are having 11 years. Eleven years, hmm. That sounds like we can do a lot. Yeah, you're not the best province. Oof. Let's uh, keep Cornwall for what it is then. And now we can take some buildings. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Let's uh, start building the counting house. They should all have their manufactory. Yeah, you have the state house, and that's correct. You have the farm estate, that's also correct. Let's build a counting house. And over here, remove that one. Build a counting house. There we go. More development for Dutchie. Estonia was fully annexed by Poland. Yeah, Poland is going crazy. Lithuania as well. Looks really weird. And uh, you need to take care of the last pretenders. Uh, you quickly go up north. You guys are gonna make the crossing when we are done here. Therefore we need some fleets. For example you guys go over here. We can cross the strait. The siege of Almeira. We have 23 heavy ships over here and 6 over there, so we need to watch out. Okay, there we go, we can cross. Portugal did not take land from Yenne. Why did they go to war over here? That's weird. Let's uh, unseat this one. The AI is stuck over here. Doing nothing with this army. LOL.
Nice. You are also now converted. How is uh, it looking over? Yeah, everything is Protestant. Now we need to convert some uh, over the land here that we will take. Uh, what is your state religion? Yeah, reformed. I'll just wait until they are integrated. Why is it not going? What is the reason? Don't know. Anymore. Where are my... Yeah, yeah. Don't know. It's not uh, not having progress. The capital is free, right? Maybe because there are noble rebels or something? I don't know. Go away. What is the revolt doing? Fine. Let's get Poland out of this war. They are already at medium. We could white piece them. They have to cancel their alliance. Can I do something else? I don't think so. No. This is the only thing we want from Poland. I think when he lost the war that he will lose the Defender of the Faith as well. Right. Now, quickly go to this fort. And then Poland is out of this war. Yeah, you guys need to wait for the siege to complete, so let's just uh, stand over here. Siege down Cadiz real quick. You can go that one. Truth of Japan has ended. You know, that one province. Oh, Korea will join. Yikes. Let's not. Let's not do that. Siege of Zagreb, yep. Now, can I piece you out? I can. My units will be black flag, so let's just move them to Napoli first. And you guys are gonna go back home, I guess. And I will piece out when they are at home, not earlier. Monopoly company founded. Trade efficiency for 10 years or get... <laughs> <laughs> 43,000. No, let's give me the trade efficiency and the points. That sounds a better, like a better plan. Shanti separatists. Ugh. Well, we killed them. Uh, yeah, they just stand over there with their army. That's fine. If they want to be occupied by me. And just don't uh, give any... Uh, any resistance. It's fine for me. And go there. With the Ottomans. Will they join a coalition? No. Oh. They really don't care. Interesting. Okay, are my troops out of Poland? They are... Yeah, look, the army is again standing still here. And now we cannot move here anymore. Because of stupid shenanigans in this game. Here, move. Yeah, I think we can peace out Poland now. And I have a diplomat. There we go. Bye, Poland. And that's going to be the end for this episode, guys. In the next episode, we will peace out Spain and Portugal. Uh, we will take all the colonies. Maybe some islands here as well. I need to see what I want. And then we will be done with uh, the European powers. Except for some land over here. To make our borders. Oh, the Mughals are forming. 
I did not see that yet. Interesting. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.